individualize water quality ownership. Great. Who's next? Let's keep coming up. Don't have to wait. Thanks. Uh, public access is good for the environment and the economy. If people have access to the uh, waterfront, they take ownership and they, uh, they see water quality problems, they put pressure on their uh, local officials to fix them. Uh, and also public access supports uh, small businesses like Hyatt Outfitters and um, other types. Um, uh, bring Hudson Valley agriculture to New York City by large. Uh, this, uh, this achieves multiple objectives. It encourages regional food consumption, uh, better eating, healthier eating, uh, preserves Hudson Valley agriculture and farm jobs upstate. Um, it creates shipping support jobs. It creates uh, small green markets. Uh, to do that, we need many jobs, uh, and it would also uh, require the formation of community-supported uh, agriculture. And understand and promote the power of compromise, uh, and this is to be done through early and continuous dialogue between uh, chambers of commerce, the business communities, environmental groups, and community groups. I already stuck one up there. Uh, employ floating marshes where real marshes are not feasible. That's generally outside of the bulkhead. And uh, this is uh, use innovative technology to facilitate environmental recovery. I'm sorry, environmental restoration. Do I need this? <laughs> uh, mixed multi use for waterfront infrastructure. Uh, the idea that a lot of our planning is the natural waterfront, the, environment, the, the uh, industrial waterfront, but there are opportunities for all three, societal, ecologic, economic, where they can be accommodated in one place, accommodate them in one place. Matt, uh, historic resources also as potential way of integrating all three, where historic resources uh, along the waterfront can be natural waterfront, industrial waterfront, and fostering sense of place uh, where historic resources can be an economic engine. We've also got a recurring theme, I guess, in the three rotations was the need for a forum, a need for dialogue between all three groups, the environmental, economic, and societal, that unless we understand and can anticipate our needs, we can't reconcile them. So one of the challenges came up, if we have these forums to get on the same page, ultimately, who mediates, what kind of mechanism is there for decision making, and some of the ideas that came up was, on the one hand, there are regulations, but regulations sometimes uh, are black and white. They don't accommodate gray areas. So the possibility of a commission uh, either existing as in Port Authority or some new apparatus for overseeing uh, harbor-wide uh, reconciliation of local needs. We're going to have to speed this up a bit. Told that we had to run 15 and now I'm told we don't. We have to, we have about five more minutes. So keep them coming. Hi, my name is Al Lansford. Uh, in our particular group, representing a, a diversity of different uh, areas from which people come, what we concluded is we need to find synergy. Doing film 
Films and environmental projects can work together to the advantage of both. Uh, there's also a, um, a need to find synergies between the recreation of the waterfront as well as the maritime industry, which is at the waterfront. And people from Staten Island will work on that.
sort of just an overview of what one is moving on. Anybody willing to do that? Because I'm not going to be here. Uh, five five. Just need one more second. <laughs> <laughs> and I know. 